All right, what's up, guys? Wanted to give you a quick update before the 10 o'clock news. So figured I'd do a quick stream here, and then I'll push this as well. Did you get the text on that? Yeah, it's finally coming up. What do we got? What do we got? Uh, they're mainly concerned about large hail with the strongest cells. Be a lot better if I could find the text. There we go. At worst, the largest hail could try to push two inches in diameter, or maybe a couple of dust. Hmm. Seventy at the strongest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, how like to watch out? Too. They're keeping that tornado threat very low, and this will be out until three a.m. Okay. So, uh, first off, YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. Usually when we have very low grade severe or no warnings in the region, I usually stream on here. Obviously, if we get uh, big time severe weather, uh, we stream on KOAM. So make sure you like and subscribe KOAM's YouTube as well. Let me show you what's going on. I got the 10 o'clock news here, so I thought I'd squeeze in here uh, before the 10. Okay, so we do, we have a new severe a thunderstorm watch, which is out. Of course, we have a low threat for severe weather. Uh, flash flood threat sticks around tonight with some heavy amounts of rain. And we've been watching these storms kind of pushing through southeastern Kansas over the past several hours. Let me take this off, take that off. Okay, so here's our watch. You can see it goes all the way up into central parts of Missouri. And... So this until 3 a.m. So this really includes, um, I know a lot, everybody tells me not to mention counties because they don't, they want to know, you don't know what's your, the next county over. So this includes Stockton, Lake, uh, El Dorado Springs, Nevada, Fort Scott, Pittsburgh, Lamar, Columbus, uh, Parsons, Erie, Chanute, Iola, Yates Center, Fredonia, Neodice, Independence, and then points a little bit farther west. And you can see very electric storms. I've had a few messages of people saying that these are uh, quite a light show across the region. All right, so let's go back to radar. Let me loop this for you. So a lot of these cells, they've been taking their good old sweet time, kind of working in, just slowly pushing off toward the north and to the east. But you can see how this cluster is really evolving back toward Wichita and looking at the latest kind of high-res models. Uh, it really wants to kind of shove this cluster into southeastern Kansas with a wind threat and a hail threat. What was it saying on hail size? Upwards of two? Yeah, at the strongest it could push two inches. So one to two inches. So, I mean, that's quarter to half dollar size hail. Um, if you live in Pittsburgh, Joplin, Metro, you're not gonna get any storms for quite some time. Pittsburgh, you may skirt some in here in the next uh, three hours or so, but most of the Joplin Metro, you guys are pretty good for about the next four or five hours, but it is going to be a loud night across the region. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Here's west of Fort Scott, pretty good little cell. These are not severe. These are just strong little guys, but you can see uh, just to the west of Fort Scott, moving off toward the northeast, all these are moving about 30, 35. So these are going to push through Bourbon County, eventually into Vernon County. Another little moderate cell uh, from Moran down to Stark, just north of Erie, Chanute, Earlton, and then Yates Center, Fredonia, not too much going on until you find this guy. And this is a big boy. So he's out across Elk County. And let's see here. So not severe at this point in time, but it's got a lot of lightning on it. So, um, very electric storm. So this is going to push into Wilson County, so Fredonia and the Odisha, and then uh, really into southern parts of Woodson County. And then we got this huge cluster, which continues to develop back toward Wichita. You can see the numerous severe thunderstorm warnings. So all of this is going to be shoving east, and then eventually it will take a southeastern turn. So in a sense, what these guys are going to do is kind of go east, 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 and then dive off toward the south into the east. So if you live down in here, you don't get much for about four or five hours. So everything's gonna be up in here into the northern counties. Let me erase my John Madden skills. Okay, let's go into the future. And then I'll probably have time to look at a comment or two. 
All right, so um, I'm using the HER model or the H R R R model. I call it the HER model. It seems to have a decent handle of what's going on. We have all these high res models and uh, sometimes I blend them. Uh, none of them are correct. They just kind of give you an idea of what's going to happen. Uh, also, they're usually slow by about an hour. So this says 1030 or 1130. So this is closer to about 1030. But you can see the clusters pushing through, kind of pushing east, affecting Yates, Center for Donia, Neodice, Parsons, Chanute, Iola, Fort Scott, and kind of Gerard into Pittsburgh. Again, the threat with these are going to be large hail, one to two inches, gusty winds, 60 miles per hour. Uh, tornado threat is very low, but anytime you have severe thunderstorms, you at least have a low severe threat. These continue to push through the region. Here's one, two, two thirty, and now we're starting to get development down toward Montgomery County into Nawada County and also Washington County northeastern parts of Oklahoma. So that's kind of the line that will kind of sweep through and affect the metro uh, through Joplin, Columbus, Miami, Neosho. And then this big batch just continues. Good old thunderstorms. Here's 5, 6, 7 a.m. Most likely just moderate to strong thunderstorms. And then we'll see this band kind of push out. And then we'll get a brief break. And then we're going to do it again by the time we head into tomorrow afternoon after we get rid of this morning batch. Then we get another big batch that is going to roll in uh, noon, 1, 2, 3 o'clock. These are going to be strong, maybe low grade, severe as well. How far out are we? We're at 56. So how far out are we? <laughs> <laughs> three minutes. Three okay, minutes. three minutes. All right, let's look through some comments here. Uh, da, da, da. Clinton, yes, super muggy out. My wife just sent me a text saying it's super muggy out. And... She's the weather expert in the family. Uh, let's see. Yeah, a lot of clouds. Uh, Tyler. Tyler doesn't want, doesn't care to be notified every time KOM wants to post a chicken recipe. What do you suggest for being notified if there's an actual severe weather emergency? I would go KOM. It's just my thought. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I got pretty good Madden skills. Uh, Jason, the HER model. Yeah, the HER is doing better than the three kilometer NAM for sure. All right, guys. So I wanted to give you guys an update. I'll, I'll pop on here after the 10 o'clock news.